A museum in Douglas County is named for the experience it's meant to give you a walk through time. The memories and display cases represent not just the town's history, but the history of the people who've lived there. WCI 3's Emily Braun is with us. So this used to be an entirely different museum. Yeah, Jennifer, it used to be the Raggedy Ann and Andy Museum. They closed that a few years back, but a group of vol committed volunteers decided to reopen it under a new name, but also give it a new identity. And that way, the museum reflects even more of our town, Arcola. So this is part of the original Raggedy Ann and Andy display. That Examples of this museum's original purpose are set up neatly between these trees. Uh, a lot of these things are original items. Arcola is known as the birthplace of Raggedy Ann and Andy. That's why in a walk through time museum, you'll still find plenty of books, dolls, and artwork depicting the iconic red-haired characters. But in the process of revisioning this museum, Carolyn Cloyd found some skepticism. There is um, a great deal of love for the Raggedy Ann legacy, so there are a lot of people that um, you know, really maybe we're not so crazy about the change because they wanted to see it remain all Raggedy Ann. But even those people, when they come in there, you know, they, they see the other items, they see the other things going on here, and I think they're, they're happy about it. And there's quite a bit going on besides the beloved doll. Roberta Brennan showed us this section of the museum that showcases the development and early pieces of the town's newspaper. Arcola has a fantastic story to tell. There's a lot of history here, and I think people should be able to have a place to put it for their ancestors and for their children. It's not just the town, it's also the people. As they started hearing about this new museum, they started donating antiques. Everything from photographs to this World War I uniform. I think there's a lot here to see. It also though, could spark a memory or something that they have in the attic that they would like to have put on display. Preserve history. Altogether, they paint a picture of the town's culture then and now. It's Cloyd's hope that everyone can see what used to represent one piece of Arcola's history, Raggedy Ann and Andy, now showcases many more facets of life history and art. Everyone that hears about this museum, everybody that sees Early, this piece, plan the weekend. I think that they should come in and see the museum because they won't be disappointed. In our town, Arcola. The museum has a guest book too, so people can sign in from where they're visiting from. And I took a look at it, and visitors have come from many different states and several different countries as well. Jennifer? All right, Emily, thank you.